Okay, hello and welcome to Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what's shipped in Jira Software Cloud by the makers of Jira. My name is Bernie Ferguson. I'm an R&D team coach here at Atlassian. And today I'm joined by Owen, who's a product manager on Jira Software. Be sure after this uh, video to jump onto community and continue sending your feedback over. It's super valuable. Um, but today we're going to jump into a demo, which actually came up as a spicy question from a previous month. So, Owen, uh, what are you going to take us through? Um, let's jump into it. Sure. Yeah. All right. This month we've got subtasks. Yeah. So it's a uh, long awaited uh, and we're hoping that it's going to satisfy a lot of needs out there. So. What I'm going to jump into first is just how you create a subtask on the board. Uh, so what I can show you here is within the project setting area, uh, under the issue types, you can see subtasks already loaded on here uh, with some default fields. If you are already using a project, uh, what you need to do is you need to add this issue type. So it's just a a little, uh, little note for anybody who's already got a project that, that exists. Uh, so what you need to do in this case is add issue type. You'll have a, an option to add the subtask issue type uh, and then that'll get created for you. Brilliant, okay. So once you've got the issue type created, uh, it's time to, to get working. Actually, one more note on the, uh, the subtask mm -hmm. issue type is uh, the, the name itself is also something that's editable. Okay. Uh, and that goes for all the issue types. So some of the changes that we're making in, in next gen is just making this uh, much easier for, for for users to map how the product works to how they work. Yeah. So if you right. call something uh, something like an engineering task or it's a front end task, uh, you can you can rename that issue type to make more sense to, to how your team works. You can take a, an existing story that exists, for example, and what we can do is we can break down that story into other little tasks. So you can use the issue view, uh, which can either come out in the on the side or as a little dialogue in the center. And you've got this create uh, child issue. In here, you've got a quick inline create, similar to what we have on the board. And that allows you to create your, your subtasks. Okay, great. And you can create multiple subtasks from that, that view for that one. Correct. Uh, Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, you can create as many subtasks in here as you want. And then once you click into those uh, subtasks, it's just an issue uh, like any other issue. Right. The fields which you've set up in your issue configuration uh, will be presented on here and you'll be able to capture information like uh, description, you can give it an assignee. If you want to do estimation, you can add some story points, estimates on here. Okay, cool. All right, nice one. Thanks, Owen. Now it's time for the spicy question of the month segment. So it's a bit of fun we have every month. Uh, these are the top voted uh, feedback items that we get through from community and other sources. We roughly get around 5,000 pieces of uh, information and feedback every month and they kind of get voted and I try to bring the most, most spicy questions to uh, the team. This one would probably rank around flaming on the spicy leader and it's to do with roll up estimations. So Owen, can you tell us like when you're creating these subtasks, how does that work in terms of, you mentioned story points, how does it work in terms of um, rolling up estimations from sub, subtasks to current tasks uh, when you're doing spring planning particularly? So NextGen is, is a project type which we're currently evolving over time. Uh, it is uh, going to be the, the, the future project type for Jira software. Eventually, uh, we want the NextGen project types to be better than what we have with the classic project types. Now that's a long journey to get there. So as well as building out the features which exist in classic today, we do want to keep an eye on the future and keep an eye on some of those nice carrots that we can have for people to start using next gen. Estimation rollup is, is definitely one of those things. Uh, we have uh, probably a, a number of ways we can, uh, we'll start to address that. Uh, visibility is, is probably the first one. Uh, we'll also look to have that visibility when you're planning, for example, if you're, if you're using a backlog or if you're using sprints. Beyond that, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of work to do around reports uh, in next gen. So that's just an area we've, we've only uh, briefly touched on and we will be, again be doing more work. Uh, and reports will be an area we'll be extending again to, to give more visibility uh, on that estimation rollup. Well, thank you very much. That's everything that we have for Demo Den this month. 
be sure to jump over to the community. Uh, Owen and the team will hang out there and answer all your questions. Your feedback is super valuable. And I guess the point on estimation, and the more feedback we get on that, the better we can make decisions around which uh, products and features we should Absolutely. Yeah. All right, thank you. Product manager on Jira Software. G'day. The g'day was terrible. Is that your impression of an Australian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was great. <laughs>